Okay, welcome back. This is for Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Gemini. Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini. These are the last messages. Give me one second. Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Pisces. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know. Please only take messages that resonate. You will know intuitively. Do not try to force any messages, okay? So let's see. It's like every time I sit like this, it's like one of my legs always don't go down. All right, let's see. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini, and Pisces. Spirit guys, universe, ancestors of the highest white light. Please give me clear and precise messages for Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini. What messages does my beautiful... Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Gemini has to know. Oh, has to say. <laughs> I can't even get it out, y'all. It's like a mean-ass heat wave coming over me. Okay, somebody is definitely sending you their energy. We have, is this real? Couldn't it be my feelings for you are real? So someone is um, awakening to their feelings for you. Someone is having a heart shock or awakening, okay? And someone could be getting ready to express that to you. Their feelings and emotions for you. Some of you guys, you could have been waiting for this. Or waiting for this person to finally open up to you. Okay? It's that I may flirt with other people, but they are not just, but they just are not you. So this person could be getting attention from other people, but this person's main focus is on you. So other people could be wanting to talk to this person or talk to you, but your focus is just set on one person. So check out the other signs I did, because someone is definitely fixated on you. Like, it could be a room full of people and this person... Pays attention to the other people, but their mind always somehow goes back to you. Okay? It's like you are their biggest distraction. I love when you're in control and standing in your power. This person loves when you stand in your power. And also, this person loves when you take your power back from them. Like, this person can feel it. They say you are so sexy when you're mad. So I don't know if this person has seen you mad before, too, too, too. Or if you and this person ever got in an argument. So you got to be mindful, okay? Because it is new energy around y'all. So only take what resonates, okay? If you are dealing with someone new or you're in a relationship with someone new and you and your person haven't had a y'all first argument yet, then that's not for you. But this energy is for those who has already, like, been, like, you probably had a disagreement at one point in time, but this person, they got over it or you got over it. They say forever and always will be my baby. Yeah, this person want to know, are you going to forever be theirs? Baby, my lady is like a dream forever and ever. Come on, car. If this is the a sin, say, I want to make up for all the empty promises. Trust me to right my wrongs. Somebody wants to make up for their promises that they've been giving you. Somebody was not keeping their word. Okay. Ooh, I almost choked up. It say, I am finally maturing and taking responsibility for my actions. Yes, somebody is bossing up. Okay, Zaddy. Or mommy. Three, 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 whatever it is. Whether you're a woman or a man. Okay, I see you. Okay, standing in your power, taking back control of your feelings and emotions. You're no longer letting other people's feelings and emotions dictate the way you're feeling and the way you're emoting. So, now <laughs> we got Leo. Okay, Leo. Mm -hmm, come through. With your sexy self. I believe in miracles. I don't know why that song just came out. You sexy thing. You sexy thing. You. So I, like, I, say, I love your energy. It's magnetic. Somebody is very beautiful. Or someone is just handsome as fuck. We got Scorpio. Or somebody just look good as shit. I don't know. Like, mm, got my mouth water. Like, you can, like, literally eat this person. We got, do you feel me even when I'm away? Somebody like, do you feel me? They want to know, do you feel them? Like, yeah, we feel you, all right. That's what somebody said. I don't know. Could be uh, feminine said that. Yeah, she want to feel you, all right. They say you are a star in my eyes. Somebody feel like you are a star in their eyes. Let's get one more. Let's see. So, for so, so far, we got Leo, Scorpio. Those are the only two signs we've seen so far. And Pisces is out here in Taurus. And Aries. Let's get one more from the top. Sagittarius. 
and Virgo. So we got Virgo, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Taurus. Those are the signs, okay? That is very fixated on you or that could be focused on you at this time. Let's get one more. We need one more spirit. We need... Okay, I'm going to take this one. I want to show you you can trust me. Oh, somebody about to step up. Yeah, you are the most beautiful or handsomest person in the world. Do you think about me the way I think about you? Yes, someone is definitely about to express their feelings to y'all. Like, it's, I know we've been saying this for a minute. Someone finally opening up, though. But somebody is, like, really preparing themselves for this. Like, it's the moment you all been waiting for. Look, the two of cuts at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, some of you guys, you're about to be in a relationship. It's just someone is like, <clears throat> could still be in their thoughts or questioning themselves. Okay. Or this person want to know what you think about them. It did come out like how you feel about them, what you think about them. Five, five, five. I feel like that's more so a conversation that you and this person are going to have in person. Y'all can be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we've seen those signs Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Period whole fire sign game that then came out of it we got the three of cups soul tribe someone is a part of your soul tribe and they're coming back towards you okay the two cups this person could be a twin flame or this could be a very close friend or a very close connection or bond between the two of you like this person could have been a very close friend or this is someone that could have friend zoned you or y'all started off as friends now this person is wanting to be an intimately Connected to you. I just seen some orbs. What's this three of cups? The nine of pentacles. So if you've been wondering if a Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini is entertaining other people, no, this person is single, whether they're a man or a woman. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups with the World card and the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. So I guess somebody been wanting to know that, or they've been wondering, are you single? Like, are you dealing with someone, or did someone take their place, or is someone else? I'm um, about to steal you from them or something like that. Okay? Because someone feel like that they have to move quickly or they have to get to you before someone else does. Because someone does feel like like you're going to get away for some of you. Because someone feel like that you closed, the, like you closed the door on them. Like the chapter is over. The book is closed. Like you're not reopening those moments, those memories or whatever the case may be. What's this world called? So the shift is definitely changing and definitely happening. You have a secret admirer or you have someone that has a crush on you or that wants to apologize or send a love letter or send a love note or something. We got the page this was told you. And the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck with the lovers, the high priestess. This is Pisces energy. So we got Gemini, Pisces. Okay, Scorpio energy. Hmm. I'm hearing that song. Uh, end of uh, until the end of time. Cause if your love was all I had in this life, there would be nothing to the end of time. Cause bless your every heart And me like your mind Cause I will love you once To the end of time To a soul Somebody wants you to like, just relax They just want you to relax Okay <laughs> I feel like cause some of you guys you just been focused on yourself as we're bringing this in towards y'all. Y'all not looking for it. Y'all not checking for it. And y'all damn sure ain't like um chasing after it. So you know how they say when you don't look for love and when you're not focused on love and you just put all that attention into yourself and here it comes. Like literally. Knight of Wands. Look, and the Four of Wands. We just seen the Two of Cups. Like, literally, someone could be, like, traveling to your home, traveling past your home. For some of you, this person could live in your community, in your vicinity, or around you. 
Six of Wands. Maybe this person always wanted to get your attention, but they never had the time to or the chance to. For some of you, this is someone like in your neighborhood, in your community or something like that. Y'all just have a lot of people attracting to y'all, so maybe it's to the point to where y'all don't even pay these people no matter whether you're a man or a woman. Like, people could be trying to holler at you, you just keep walking. Or you just brush them off. But it's one particular person or it's one person that you do have your eyes on very closely. Okay? And you, like, adore this person, you're crushing on this person. Like, you don't know if you want to send a text or a call. Okay? Hmm. I, don't, I hope this person not afraid to, like, reach out to you or message you, whoever this is for, because they don't know if you're going to read it. Like, they go, they think that you're probably going to leave them on red or something like that. Okay? Or oh, for some of you, you sent a message or you sent a text, 1111, and this person left you on red. Or this person ain't respond. For some of you, you do have someone that wants to date you. They want to ask you out. It's like this person is trying to see which angle should they come from. Should they just wait till they see you in person, face to face, or run into you? Or should they do it by contacting you? Yeah, so this person is like at an indecision. Two of Pentacles. Virgo Energy Hermit. Okay. But this person is in isolation. Like, they're they're by themselves. They're alone. They're in harmony mode. Okay? Could be trying to get everything organized and situated. Get everything together. Okay? This person could have, like... Could like to buy you flowers. Or they like to give you, like, box chocolates or something like that. Or candy. Or they like to give you, like, notes. Sweet little love notes. Okay? Hmm. This person is like in the shadows though. Five of Wands. They could be having a lot of internal conflict. Or they're fighting through whatever these con whatever these obstacles and challenges and blockages were. I feel like this person could be fighting through them now. Yeah, so they can persevere and move forward. Cause somebody is persevering. Okay, through challenges, blockages, and obstacles. Seven of Swords. I feel like you're being very strategic and steadfast, is what Spirit is saying. You're guided, though, six of swords. Okay? It's like somebody is so being pushed and pulled and drawn to you. Like, they cannot fight this urge no more. It's like, you know how you your back itching and you can't get that itch and you like, Mo! Like, you need somebody to scratch your back or you go to the wall and you start going like that. That's how this is. Like, it's like a craving for you. Like somebody is craving your touch, craving your smell, your scent. It's just you. And even if this is someone new and you haven't like actually met this person yet or even got to that point to where y'all like moving. Th I think soon as you meet this person, 13, 33, things are going to start moving. And like advance, like things are going to start moving swiftly. Only reason why I said that is because we got the Knight of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Wands. That's like somebody instantly asking you, like, to move in with them. They want you to be with them. Like, I'm telling you, this person is not playing with you. <laughs> okay? Like, they want to tie you down. Because somebody is like, not understanding the simple fact like, oh, so this person still see you, so it must mean don't nobody want this person. And it's like somebody like, don't mind if I do. And that's the thing. See, like, soon as y'all get in a relationship or y'all start dating this person, that's when everybody gonna start wanting to show y'all attention or gonna wanna start saying, oh, hey, what's up, big head? Or what's up, little head? Or how you been? Or It's always like that. It's, it's a drought right now, y'all. It's a fucking drought with relationships. 
dating people 1444 or just having people that you want to communicate with even if you're dating and meeting people online you just feel like man i'm just you be just skeptical about these people online because you is like not sure if these people is who you need to be like associating with or getting to know so some of y'all y'all still just skeptical about people y'all date online or that y'all meet online because y'all unsure like you you open to dating like you would date people if somebody want to ask you out or take you out or do this and do that but it's like when it comes to like taking anything seriously with these people i don't think so now for some of you you have met someone online and you could be taking things seriously or the person that you're going to meet online or whatever the case may be they're going to want to move things forward forward like they're going to want to tie you down so y'all just take the energies where it resonates okay some of you guys, you're afraid of starting all, little, starting all over because it's like you have probably been with somebody for so long, for how many plus years, and it's like now I got to start all over. I got to get to know somebody new all over again, 1555. I feel like for me, even though it's a challenge to like meet people all over again for the first time, but it's actually exciting because it's like new energy. Like you get to meet someone new and you actually see what their interests are and what they like and what they're into like it's i think for me it's always good to meet new people 16 16 i guess because i come off as an introvert because i'm very introverted like i would stay to myself all day long i'm a loner for real a loner a stoner by myself but when it comes to like meeting people yeah i would engage i would interact i would open up i would talk get to know you and shit like that because it's very rare and hard for me to open up to people okay because i'm stingy with my energy like you might as well say people probably be like, oh, you think you bougie or you think you better. Like, no, it's just I'm real live an introvert. So I can like, I don't want to come off to people like, oh, damn, she don't want to talk to nobody. So I mean, like she don't want to be bothered. No, I do want to be bothered. OK, like. I don't know. It's like somebody just be feeling like you don't be want to be bothered sometimes or you wouldn't want to talk to them. Or, like, this person be having a lot going on in their thoughts. Like, when it comes to you, 17, 17. Like, it makes them unsure. It makes them very indecisive. Like, it makes them doubt their self. It's like, they're not doubting you because they see you as who you are. It's just, sometimes they tend to doubt their self because they get in that energy to where they're like, well, what if this person don't like me the way that they say they like me? And they just saying it. Like, bro, if you don't stop, what you think this is allowed or something like that? What you think somebody don't like you? That's what this person is. What y'all person got going on, bro? I'm telling you, like, your person is like, it's like almost to the point, you know how people say, I hear you, I hear you. Like, that's that's your person. Like, they irritate as fuck with that energy. I hear you, I hear you. Like, like this person don't believe shit. It's like, you got to make this person out to be a believer. Like, for real, I don't know who y'all dealing with. Okay, I don't think that's for everybody. That was just a specific energy I just picked up on. 1818, like, somebody always, like, they listen to what you guys say. They hear you, but it's, like, more to it. They, like, nah, I'm going to sit back in the background, and I'm going to do more research. I'm going to just watch this person and make sure if they're saying is what they're really saying. Why do we got to go through all that just to show and prove to you that you are wanted, sir or ma'am? Like, come on now. Then it's like, if you're not opening your mouth and you're just sitting on the sidelines or sitting in the background, how is any, how are you going to ever know if somebody do feel the way that they feel for you? Because it's mutual here. The lover's card, any anytime the lover's come out, it's genuine, it's mutual. It's like you and that person is both feeling the same way. But it's like nothing is being said. That's why things aren't moving. Because somebody is too much of a skeptic. Like, they always in their mind or always like, but I feel like it's more like self-deceptive talk. Like, it's more so this person, like, deceiving their self by the way that they think, feel, and what they say. Because it's not y'all. Like, y'all already hands to go. Y'all y'all down for it. Look, the ace of ones, y'all ready. Some of y'all, y'all like, shit, it's been a long time since I had some good dingling or some good coochie. Now you feel me? Like, that's y'all energy. Like, we grown, so come on down. Because some of y'all, y'all been celibate. Okay, y'all been saving yourself. Y'all ain't really been doing anything or 
if y'all have y'all little flings or y'all little hookups, it's just like, mm, okay. Like, y'all really want somebody that can lay it down, okay? <laughs> Not just for, for, like, that quick little moment. Like, okay, yeah. It's like, y'all real life actually want to, like, have somebody that you call your own. Not somebody that you call them and be like, hey, I want some coochie. Or, hey, I want some dangling. And then it's like, okay. Like, y'all real life want to have some consistent P and some consistent D. You feel me? That's... <laughs> Hey, look, I just a messenger, bro. Because I know y'all tired of, like, having flings and one-night stands with people, okay? For some of y'all, let's not lie now. Not saying that y'all sleeping around with any and everybody, but y'all know how y'all just go out, y'all hang and chill, and then that moment, it's like you attracted to this person, and it's just something happened. Like, we, everybody didn't had that episode before, okay? I'm just generally speaking, because I know somebody will be like, oh, that's what you do, and da 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 no. Because I'm telling you, because the way I am, like, I'm stingy as fuck, for real. Like, it's very rare you could get to knock these socks off. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> y'all don't understand. Like, I, that's why people be like, oh, you think you just too good all of a sudden. No, it's just when you took the time to heal from all that traumatic shit that you've been through in the past, when you were broken and you wasn't healed and you was going from person to person or... You know how you just wanted to be that player, whether you're a playgirl, playboy, and shit like that. Now it's like you're not in that energy no more. Like some of y'all, y'all never was really playgirls or playboys. It's just y'all just shit. Some of y'all, y'all like sex. Shit, ain't nothing wrong with it. Y'all got a sex, a high sex drive. Shit, like I know I do when I'm with somebody that I actually want and I'm settling down with. Oh hell yeah, I do. The fuck. I definitely do have a high sex drive. Like, cause I like to, let me not tell y'all what the fuck I like. It's not about me. It's about y'all. God damn it. <laughs> oh shit. Not for real. Cause I like to be touchy feely too. I like to kiss. I like to do all that. So like, Oh, just kiss me the right way. And I, baby, I'm telling you, like, I like a person that knows how to kiss. You gotta know how to kiss me. Like, Bite my lip, nip. Oh, Lord, we ain't doing that, spirit. It's not about me. Next, we're going to keep it going because it's not about me, okay? You this is crazy. Boy. Like, y'all almost got me. Y'all almost got me. Boy. About to tell y'all how I like it is doing sex and all that. So, when you get me, you can know how to do it. No, sir, we're not doing that. You got to figure it out. Like, I like to be teased. I like all that shit. Like, I like to be, like, mysterious to people. Like, low, I'm telling you. The freak only comes out of me when I'm really into you. Like, that's it. Like, I can't. You're not going to see me bust down at Tatiana, like, with just a, a one-night stand or something like that. Like, no. Like, I got to real, like, be intimately connected to you. Like, I got to feel something there in order to, like, Get them parts of me out. Get the like. I think those are the best parts of me, right? They stop my wild side. But we ain't about to do it like that. Let's keep going. Like <laughs> I could be a lady in the street and a hoe in the bedroom. I'm telling you, we not gonna lie. The magician card. Somebody is manifesting you. Look, and then the sun. That's the only time. Close the door, homie. Zoe. And the strength card, somebody is on, got a hard on right now. Look, they want to reach out ASAP. The fools. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Y'all got somebody wanting to reach out to y'all ASAP. Like, what? You ain't got to tell me twice. All right, cool. Now I know. Like, somebody like, all right, now I know. You, you just answered it for me. Now I know. Like, that's what I've been looking for. Like, I just been wanting to know. Like, when I want sex, are you going to give me sex? Like, of course. Who wouldn't want sex? Like, come on, especially if you ain't been getting it. We got the Ten of Pentacles. That's just a side note, okay? Like, we're all grown over here because I don't want nobody to be like, oh, yeah, she be fucking fucking or he be fucking fucking. Bitch, you fuck too. We all fuck. 24-24. Excuse my language to call y'all your name, but hey, it is what it is. We got the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. I'm telling you, y'all understand this person. They gonna rock your world, like for real. I think it's in all areas though. 
like literally like this person could definitely see them spending their life with you okay like this person see that you like is full of excitement like this person they want to like they want to put your skills to <laughs> Hey, uh, this person want to put your skills to test, to the test or some shit like that. Like they want to see how good are you in bed. Like who is this person, y'all? What, what's this going on here? Okay, this person want to see how good you are in bed. Like they want to see how good of a kisser you are. Like this person want to experience all that with you. Like they just curious to know. They like, okay, I hear you saying these things, but is it true? Like. <laughs> That's why it's so funny to me because it's like a challenge. Who wouldn't love a challenge? That's almost like telling somebody like, you know how people be like, all right, let's bet. If if this is this what happened, you got to do this. That's almost like this. So this person likes to play games like that. Like, I bet you this or I bet you that. And if you don't do this and if this don't happen, then you got to do this, you got to do that. I like shit like that too. Almost like kind of like truthful there or something like that. But you're actually betting each other. Look, the emperor. This person wanted to let it be known. That's them. Look, and the hair of injustice. Y'all can get ready now. Even if you ain't ready. I told y'all in the last reading I just posted. God is going to prepare you. Okay? As long as you emotionally prepared, mentally prepared, and physically prepared, you ain't got to get ready. Because you will already be ready. So it's like, be ready so you ain't got to get ready. Just point blank, period. Because for some of you guys, you're going to be moving with this person. Okay? That's going to be a question this person going to pop to you or whenever y'all conversate. Or whenever y'all talk or whenever these words be exchanged. Okay? But some of you, this person is hoping that you say yes is for some reason I'm getting. Like, this person is connected to their higher self. Like, you can hear this person, everything they're saying. And we already got the high priestess out here, the queen of wands. I'm telling you, this person... Mm -mm. Y'all don't understand what I'm getting with this. Queen of wands, five of cups in the moon. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person already see you as someone that's, like, very mysterious. I'm telling you, like, even if y'all not with this person or this person haven't came into y'all life yet, like, y'all don't understand how this person is craving you. Because for once, for some of you, you're uh, connected to this person telepathically. So it's like when y'all communicate, nine times out of ten, half of y'all energy or y'all communication be based on sex or whatever. Like, what this person want to do to you? Or, like, you will get them visions. Like, sometimes this person send y'all visions. Or y'all see visions of shit. That's because this person be sending it to y'all. Or y'all send this person visions of y'all. <laughs> Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, this person want to make you cry. Like, I don't know. Not like cry like, oh, break your heart cry. Y'all get what I'm saying. Look, fill in the blanks, okay? <laughs> What's the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles? Like, they want the neighbors to know their names. That's how this person is. Look, the empress. This is coming together, y'all. A lot quicker than you think, I'm telling you. But I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be single today and be in a relationship tomorrow. Well, y'all get what I'm saying, okay? I could be over-exaggerated. But I don't think so. Because this energy I'm feeling right here, like, they want you now. Like, ain't no waiting. Ain't no nothing. Like, they know what they... <laughs> and y'all know what I just heard? They like said, the Lord is my shepherd, and he know what I want. <laughs> he want Miss Parker, Miss Parker. That's what he want. He want Miss Parker. Look, the tower. And look what we got behind it, the will of fortune. I'm telling you, this person wants you now time. It's like no waiting, no tomorrow. We're not waiting on the world to change. Like, they want you like now. Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Like, they want to establish this now. Like, let everybody know it's you. Or oh, everybody can already know it's you. Ooh. So now this person just got to make their move. Ooh, 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 ooh. And that's probably why a lot of people are like, throwing shade or talking 
So it's a lot of chatter around you and this person because this person is making their move to you. It's like on your market, set go. Oh my gosh, yeah, 10 10, 10 of wands and the 10 of swords. I'm telling you, something is over, y'all. Congratulations! Y'all gonna be so surprised. Y'all gonna never would have even thought. You never would even thought this person was coming back to y'all or coming to y'all or whatever the case may be. Look, y'all know what's going on now. Hey, look. Try not to like um, be too overly excited. Some of y'all, y'all really gonna have to keep y'all cool because I know how it is. I know how it is, bruh. Like, you can't keep your composure with this fine divine man right here. I'm telling you, you just can't. You just can't. Like, whoo, who, Lord, get the fan. What they got? What, what's some things called they use? Uh, with the ushers be having a little fast. You can be like, whoo, had a man. I'm telling you, had a man. You cannot keep your composure with this fine divine piece of chocolate right here. Whoo, two of cups. I'm telling you, Jesus, take the wheel now. Like, I'm telling you, you just got to be extra. Look, that's just me. If you don't like it, oh, well. You see, you supposed to be extra over your man. This your fucking man, girl. Or this your woman, man. Like, come on down. You're supposed to be extra. You, She's supposed to make you melt the same way you make her melt. Or oh, you get what I'm saying. Like, you supposed to be down. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm riding for that. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say, y'all. That's how y'all supposed to be. Look, the queen and the king of wands, man. Ace of Pentacles, I'm telling you. This person wants you to have a baby. Look. It's, I heard that, too. Yeah, last night, I was like, our first child together. Bro, I was hearing so much shit from this person last night. Hold on. Gotta close the door for y'all. So y'all can hear me. Okay. This person... They want y'all to have y'all first child together. Now, it might not be their first kid. First kids. Okay? Gotta put the emphasis on. But this person wants y'all to have y'all first child together. This person is imagining what that would be like. Y'all don't even know how soon this is coming.